A dispute within the Arkansas Republican Party has now reached federal court, and it could decide how you go to the polls. Channel 7's Daniela Dehogany joins us now live in our studio with more on this story. Daniela. That's right, Chris. A lawsuit was filed in U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of Arkansas by Jennifer Lancaster, who chaired the Republican Party State Convention this year and 22 delegates to the convention. At issue is whether the GOP should hold an open or closed primary in Arkansas. The plaintiffs allege that Republican Party Chairman Joseph Wood and Secretary of State John Thurston are violating both their First Amendment rights to freedom of association and their 14th Amendment due process rights after Wood overrode a vote at the party's June convention to close the Republican primary. Well, it's a power struggle between the people and the elected officials who want to retain control and the people who want to have more of a say in our party politics. Lancaster chaired the convention and led the movement to close the primary. The people, of course, had their agenda, which included closing the primaries and other things like that, restoring the voice back to the people. And the, uh, the elected officials were trying to curb that. This was something that was very important to the people, the Republicans of Arkansas. But the party's executive committee, largely made up of appointees and elected officials, including Wood, later voted to nullify what was done at the convention. The state executive committee has absolutely no authority whatsoever to overrule anything that the convention body did. They are asking the court to order the defendants to implement the rule changes approved at the convention, which would restrict primary voting to registered Republicans only. Appointed individuals, handpicked individuals by our governor and others to dictate how things are going to be within the party apparatus. The party is the people. Lancaster says the party should reflect the will of the Republican voters rather than the elected officials. One of our founding fathers said freedom once lost is lost forever. So they're not going to hand it back to the people willingly. We have to wrestle it from their hands. Now, currently, Arkansas has open primaries, allowing any voter to choose which party's primary to participate in. The new rule would close the primaries to registered Republicans. On your side, I'm Daniela Dehogany. Okay, Daniela, we'll be watching this. Thank you very much. The GOP chairman, Joseph Wood, has said he was given no notice of the closed primary proposal before it happened. And since the vote was not on the convention's agenda, it was a violation of the party's rule.